imagine if we could engineer surfaces that are resistant to microbes. Imagine if we could turn carbon dioxide into useful products instead of emitting it into the atmospheres. But the question is, how do we make these revolutions happen? How do we implement those changes? I guess the big opportunity for IMSA isn't actually even one of our specific grand challenges. It is actually to change how science and engineers tackle molecular problems. And we don't want to just change that at Imperial, we want to change it across the science and engineering community, in academia and in industry. The smaller the scale we can go, the more, the more scales we can incorporate in that, um, that whole modelling exercise, the better ultimately, because you're making decisions, you need to make decisions about molecules uh, as part of the optimization of those processes. IMSI is a cross-faculty, multidisciplinary institute that aims to bring people together to work on grand challenges from all across Imperial College. Different people with different backgrounds essentially speak a different language, so crossing this barrier is, is really, really difficult. So once there is an infrastructure like these networks, or IMSI for that matter, then it can make this communication uh, potentially much easier. IMSI is going to focus its research on a set of grand challenge projects that involve science and technology to produce solutions to some of the societal and economic problems we have. Sometimes in a big institution you feel isolated and being part of IMSI not only you're not anymore isolated but you see people which I will never have seen collaborating like uh, people from chemical engineering and engineering because we need all knowledge from different faculties to tackle this big problem which is for us antimicrobial resistance. And collaboration between departments is important because the best ideas are occurring at the boundaries of disciplines. The old disciplines have been mined very thoroughly so now we're looking at, at where, they, where they intersect so that's important but even more important is the collaboration between academy and industry. The reason IMSI partners with industry is to ensure it is actually working on challenges that are relevant to society. IMSI and any of institutes like IMSI are very well positioned uh, to broker relationships between academia and industry and essentially play the role of translating the research and the activities on one end into another and requirements and needs from industry back to academia. The potential is that with IMSI people will start discussions at a very early stage combining science and its direct application or the other way around the challenge and the possible science behind it. And by doing so very early I think that the chance for success will be increased. So to solve many of the grand challenges that we face, IMSI has to engage a broad community of people. In particular, companies, funding agencies, government and individuals can help us to identify the key challenges which we need to work on as a priority. And so IMSI adopts a very open, very flexible approach to working with individuals from outside the university. To develop the research programmes that will address those challenges and eventually to translate the research advances that are made here into impactful discoveries.